I want to take just a few minutes now before we adjourn. You know, we do kid Ed about that approach occasionally, but there's something about it. When you say, I like you, it does me good too. The person who says it feels better, and also the person who receives. I remember here about a week ago or so, Ed came in from a meeting that he came in and he said, you know, I, I never lose my temper. But he said, I did that time. And I said, Ed, when you got all through, did you tell him you liked him? He said, I sure did. <laughs> well, I'm going to ramble just a little and punch some points. I'm not going to expand on them. I'm just going to punch some points right quick. And in about five or ten minutes, I'm going to be all through. The first thing I want to do is touch on an issue that the President has dwelled on and the Secretary dwelled on last night. It has some pluses and it has some minuses, and I want to touch on both. The Secretary has been very ambitious in expanding an export program, an export program for the sale of commodities that you and I produce on our farm. We have produced ourselves into a position in this country where export markets are important to us. But I fear that sometimes we believe our salvation lies in that arena, export. Most of the commodities that we produce that go into an export market goes into countries who can and should pay full, fair prices. <laughs> Do you know that 50 percent of the food that goes into food aid programs in the world come from this country. And less than 10 percent of that goes into disaster and relief programs. And the other 90 percent of it goes in for political purposes, to be used by those countries whom we are trying to curry foreign favors from. And if America wants to become involved in export programs, they ought to pay the bill. And we ought to increase domestic markets high enough that we can give away, if you will, to those countries who can't pay for it and demand from those who can that they do. But that domestic market And those people who would suggest that the foreign market is our future salvation is allowing this country to export its basic industry. And people, it's wrong. We're exporting our energy, our water, our resources to countries that have that capability. Who are our major countries? The Soviets, Japan, Others and those countries have the ability to pay, and we must extract it from them. So much for that. We talk about the tax benefit programs and packages that have been made available to the major giant corporate structures of the country under the new administration and its programs. Those programs were to be used in exploration and development. And unfortunately, those programs have been used not for exploration, but for exploitation. And they have been used for acquisition. And you have seen major corporations acquisition others. You've seen Exxon, Mobil, working on Marathon oil company in an attempt to increase concentration of power. And we talk about the free market and letting it function. And only just day before yesterday, Secretary Reagan 
said, what's wrong with helping a major corporation or com com company if it's in trouble? Help it from going broke. Well, I submit if that is good policy for those corporate companies, it's also good for this industry, agriculture. And if they, in effect, are going to take and begin to reduce and eliminate parts of the farm program, and I'm sure that's where the pressure's going to be. Only yesterday I got a call wanting to know our position on a statement that had been made by one of our farm organization friends wherein they said we want to eliminate all support programs. And they said to me, what's your position? Well, I have no problem with that if and when the farmer and rancher gets in a position where he is the market. And then those programs that are aid and assist no longer will be needed, but until that time, He's reaching for every source of income he can so that he can continue to supply food, so they continue to operate and farm his land. And we need all of those assist programs until that point that he becomes master of his own soul. And he is not at this point. And they say, don't you believe that agriculture also ought to undergo the budget cut? Along with the rest of the economy, and my answer is, we're selling our commodities and our labor, our income, at 50 percent of value. And when the rest of the industries in this country and the working class of people will take a 50 percent cut in their income, then we'll consider taking another. And I often get asked, where is the country going? Where are we headed? Where is the economy going? I don't know, and I don't believe those that are directing it know either. But I know where this organization is going. We're going to be the force at the marketplace that gives the farmer the right, the power, the independence that he can deal with the economic issues that plague him. Ed made mention of the visitors from the farm credit, the banking, the financial institutions. They said to me, can you have someone available to be in our meetings this year? Because we know your programs are better than the ones that we are recommending to our clients. We don't know how the Board of Trade works, but we know it gives some degree of security. We've been studying it. We've been trying to understand it. Mr. Bennett was talking to me one morning, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning before breakfast. He said, we've been trying to understand them so that we could recommend them to our people. But he says, what I'm hearing from your organization far exceeds what we've been hearing and recommending. And we want you to have someone available to come into our meetings and explain your forward contract program. You're concerned about your cash flow. So are we. We don't have to, under your program, put up the margin money. We don't have to pick up the option. I said, that's absolutely correct. He said, in the board, in the program that they operate under, the farmer still exposes himself to risk. You have no risk in your forward contract. You know where you're going. I submit we do. We know where we're going. Well, this brings the conclusion to our convention, people. We appreciate you and what you have done, each of you. We can't be successful without you. We have the responsibility of coordinating and assisting and coming out and helping with the programs and helping you understand, but you're where the strength is. The strength isn't in the home office. It isn't in the board of directors. It isn't in the departments. It's in that production that you and I have. There's where we will determine success. Be careful on your way homes. Your families need you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And all the things that go with been good to be with you. Thank you.